a new one from Arrow Video. We've got the 1981, I believe it is. Is it 1981? It is 1982. Burst City, which is a cool name. And the cool name and the premiere of it or the premises of it, that's the word I'm looking for, made me want to watch this immediately. Because I was hoping we had like a uh, Wild Zero type thing going on. But unfortunately, we do not. It is... From director uh, Soji Ishii. Easy for me to say. And it stars three punk bands. That was pretty popular in Japan at the time. And you know. They're, there's three punk bands. And they're kind of going up against the system here. And then eventually. Two guys on motorcycles wearing metal. Show up to fight the system. And it's like two separate storylines. That eventually come into play. And this thing. It, it gets a lot of praise. Definitely edited in a very unique way. It's, it's a very uh, artsy film. And it, it puts on display a lot of Japanese uh, punk music. So, if you're into Japanese punk, or you just like artsy stuff, this may be something that you're very, very interested in. If you're looking for a little bit something more, then maybe you'll be a little disappointed. I was a little disappointed just because I didn't know what I was going into here, and it ended up not being necessarily what I thought it would be. But it says here on the back, First City is an explosive mod... Mo uh, can I talk today? Molotov cocktail of dystopia sci-fi Mad Max style biker wars against Yakuza gangsters and police. Yes, that's what it says. And that sounds very interesting. It stars the three Japanese punk bands, The Stallion, The Roosters, and The Rockers. And, uh, well, is it, is it four? Is it three bands or four bands? That's, that's, I believe there's a name for four bands here. The, the INU. I don't know that about Japanese punk rock. I'm going to go ahead and let you know. But it's definitely a very um, Mad max in design and look, but not quite in delivery because it takes a little bit for stuff to get going, but it eventually gets going, but it still just wasn't my type of movie. Although I do appreciate the efforts, and I'm sure if you like punk rock from Japan in the early 80s or late 70s, it's right down your alley. Uh, this, of course, is, is a Blu-ray high-definition, original, loopless mono Japanese soundtrack. English subtitles, no dub version. Dub version would have been nice in some cases. A uh, brand new audio commentary by Japanese film expert Tom Mess. The Punk Spirit of 82. Shogo Ichi on Burst City. An exclusive new 56-minute interview with the director. Bursting Out. An exclusive 27-minute interview with the Academy and Independent Filmmaker Yuzari Tezuka. And that's about Burst City, of course. Uh, trailer Image Gallery. Reverse artwork. So, not for me. Two and a half out of five, just because I'm not really in Japanese punk rock, and this one, while interesting, takes a little bit long to get action-packed. But, still, Arrow Video gives it the top-of-the-line treatment, as they always do, and I can always appreciate that. Uh, a card for Dune. So, if it hasn't already been announced, Dune's coming, and then we get a booklet with you know, more stuff about the bands and whatnot. So, good release for a movie that just doesn't do much for me. But that is Burst City from Arrow Video. Out now, I'm pretty sure. So, if you're interested, it's around.